Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Tuesday, July 21st, 2020, and I'm going to attempt to make this video with my GoPro and try to edit it on my backup laptop. If you watched my last video, I'll go ahead and link it above here for you. Uh, I had lost all the information on my hard drive on my desktop computer last week, and it kind of put me behind the eight ball. I had a lot of it backed up in different places, a lot of my information, but I had to kind of scramble. But one of the things I lost were some video clips that I was going to edit to make a video. Uh, luckily, it wasn't any, any of this stuff that you see before you, but I didn't get a chance to make this video. Uh, this was stuff I picked up at a flea market last Wednesday after I got back from my out-of-state trip. And I felt as though um, I could go ahead and risk it and, of course, wore a mask and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but my state, a lot of the counties and cities in my state have mask, um, I don't know if you call them ordinances. I'm not sure if they're, some of the cities are enforcing them, some are not. I just wish they didn't make a state mandate and be done with it. That way there's no second guessing from one city to the next if you go through, but whole thing is, as far as I am concerned, there's a lot of uh, misinformation out there. Anyway, um, so I want to show you what I got at the flea market last week. I'm real excited about it. I got 10 pieces here, and we'll go ahead and, uh, without further ado, get right into it. Uh, these, there were uh, three pieces marked at $28, and I ended up, after negotiating with the guy and, and agreeing to buy stuff, a bunch of stuff from him. I got four of these. This one, this one, and that one up here. All of them for $15. So he charged me five a piece and one. And this one is actually really rusty, but it sits flat, doesn't spin. And I don't know if it has, I think it's a Wagner Ware, I can tell by the handle. Um, I think it's a Wagner Ware. Yeah, it pretty much is. It wouldn't be. It's not a BSNR because it doesn't have the inset heat ring, but it looks like a Wagner Ware, perhaps unmarked. We won't know till we get it into lie, and I really need to get this video made so I can get these pieces soaking. Uh, but I got this one for free, so that that's a great thing. So that is a number three, probably a Wagner. Uh, this one here is a Wagner Ware. You can't see it too well, but I can see the logo. You can see how the sidewall flattens into a little mini triangle there. On the sidewall, you can see how it's covered with crust here. And then, of course, the inside. It seems like when I put it down, it has a little more movement, but not a whole lot. And again, you really can't tell until all this stuff comes off uh, how much movement a skillet really has. But I believe it is a Wagner Ware. Uh, marked Wagner where uh, again it's a number three and you can't see that it's got a lot of crud on there so uh, again that was part of the bundle there five dollars uh, and that the rusted one was free then this one is another marked Wagner Ware. it's a 1053Q Wagner Ware Sid Dio and these are nice little skillets um, they're, they're great for you know like individual fried eggs and individual uh, hamburgers and things of that nature I got them so cheap, I just figured I'd, I'd get them and I could flip them or, uh, or give them away, whatever. These are great little skillets. So this is another Wagner. And then uh, this one here, I also got for $5. This one here is an unmarked, it's in extremely good condition. He had this one at $10, but I managed to have him give it to me for 5 And I really think it's an uh, unmarked vintage Wagner from the early 1900s. It's got the outset heat ring. I sold one like this and you can tell if you take the price tag off. Uh, I like to leave the price tags on until I put them into the vinegar bath but you can see how it's ribbed there and it goes directly into the sidewall. I had a Wagner like that but it was marked. I should go back and look at the pictures of it because I did sell it and see if the markings are the same. It's got a teardrop handle here on the, uh, and then it's got a three. But anyway, it's interesting. I like pieces that are different, so I think that is an antique Wagner. Okay, next up is, let me see what I wanted. The rest of the pieces get better as we go along. I'll show you this one. This is a griddle. This is the first piece I saw. 
Um, my normal guy wasn't there last week, and, and I managed to get, well, before I show you this, let me, well, no, never mind. I'll go ahead and show you this one. This is a double griddle, and it looks like, a, you know, an old, vintage, somewhat rusty double griddle. It's fairly flat, doesn't have any cracks from what I can see. He had it marked at, oh, I don't know, I think it was like 30 or $40. And it's got a gate mark here and a gate mark here. And it's got some character pitting on the back. And the reason why that happened is they used sulfur back in the day, I think, to at the foundries. Or they used sulfur when cooking on the stovetops. I think that's what it was. And that's why a lot of these old pieces will, will look like this. Actually, I, I kind of like the look. It makes it gives it a lot of character. But I ended up getting this piece for, I think, $15. I got them down to $15. And this is an antique made in somewhere in the 1800s. I'd say late 1800s, 1880s, 1890s. I'll have to do a little research on it. Uh, I had one before. It was one, one made in Mexico. And I ended up selling that one. Not quite as valuable, I don't think, as the antique because it was just vintage. Um, and let's see. Let's start over here. I, at a different vendor, I found a pair of waffle paddles. This is a, a Griswold slant logo, large cross logo there, American number eight, the Griswold Manufacturing Company, patent pending um, 19, or, yeah, 1908, it's model 885F and 886. And a friend of mine, and you know who you are if you're watching, has the base for this, so I will be talking to you about that. Uh, these are in really, really good condition. I picked them up for 35 bucks, and uh, not bad at all. They're in really good condition. Uh, they probably need to be seasoned or, you know, stripped and seasoned. But even so, you can see what good condition they're in. So it shouldn't really be all that difficult. But, yeah, these would sell just by themselves. But I may go ahead and acquire the base and go ahead and get that one seasoned up. Those are... Uh, worth quite a bit of money, especially in restored condition. People really like the waffle makers. The guy that sold me that previously sold me the number eight Erie Griswold uh, slant logo. I think you might have seen that in a previous video that I put up before I left town. And the same guy had this when I went back last week. And I said it was Mr. Tennessee there, and Mr. Tennessee is one of the vendors that I got all the other cast iron from. And he said, no, but that guy up there just down from me is. He had all this stuff, guys. So anyway, I was able to pick up the uh, griddle. And the first guy that told me about it picked up the, the waffle, or I picked up the waffle paddles from him. Interesting story, though. When I, I sat and talked with him, we exchanged information. Gave him our, you know, he gave me his information. I gave him mine so we could do other transactions in the future. He said, "Be shortly before you came up, I was going to tell my wife to go down there and pick up the waffle paddles, and then here you came up to my booth and you had them. So he was actually going to get those. So I beat him to the punch. So that was a really good deal on those. Um, then finally, for the other ones here, we have a Griswold." He had this marked at 18. I managed to get him down to 10 on this one. I think it was 10. I tried to get him to 8, but I got him to 10. And it is a small logo, number 3. It's in really good shape. It's going to clean up great. And this has some mill work, mill finish in the inside. Uh, this one's a really nice one. We'll put it down, and it sits flat. Uh, so it looks pretty good. And then... We have a couple of larger skillets. This is a number eight. National, if you can see that with the star maker's mark. I think that's kind of neat with an exterior heat ring. It's very, very old. I don't know. It looks like, I don't know what that is on there. That shiny. I don't know if that was part of the, if it's chrome plated. I don't think it is, but we'll find out when we strip it. But for 20 bucks, I figured I'd take a chance on it. There's no cracks in anything I can see. And it looks to be in real good condition. Um, next we have a Griswold, number seven. Small logo. These are great cookers. This one here, again, is another great skillet. No, uh, no spin. No spin, no cracks from what I can see. 
And uh, yeah, these are good sellers too. They don't get as much as the, as the large logo because the collectors really go for those. But uh, it should make a decent money and I paid 20 bucks for that too. He had it marked at 30. Still not a, even 30 isn't a bad price for that one. Not really. Uh, I, the first one of these I saw was in an antique mall about three years ago, and he, and he had it priced at, I think, 65 or 70 and, and not even as good a condition as this, and I never bought it. it took him months to sell it, too. Then finally, I think the, one of the most valuable ones here is a number four. This is a 7-inch skillet. Griswold, this is a medium logo, and it's got a maker's mark down here. Um, I don't know if it was made after Wagner acquired them. I'm not sure, but it's a number four, and you don't see very many of those. And this one here has really nice millwork finish on the inside, and it's also in excellent shape. No spin. And you don't see number fours often. This is one that will be a higher price just because you just don't see them. They're, they're more rare. So at any rate, yeah, I got all, all of this, though, and I averaged $16 a piece when you figure the total price that I paid. And there are 10 pieces here. There's 5 and 10. So real happy. So we have our Wagner, Antique Wagner, and the three... I assume they're all, those are marked, that's marked, I'm, I'm assuming the rusted one is, but I got it for free. That averages into the, the price point in all of them. The Griswold 3, Griswold 4, Griswold 7, National, and it might have been a Griswold company, I'm not sure. I think it was, I think they made this line for the, uh, or the uh, department stores, it was an economy line, but I'm not sure, I have to look it up. Uh, this is on memory. Uh, the Griswold number eight and the antique 1800s griddle. So, anyway, guys, uh, it's video is long enough. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that out. I thought it stopped recording. The video video is long enough. I'm gonna stop now. But anyways, if you uh, like videos like this, please remember to give me a thumb up. Please leave a comment or question below. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. But hitting the thumbs up is so important because it helps my video. And anyway, it does help my video show higher in search so people that are interested in videos like this will have a chance to see it because of the recommendation and the algorithm on YouTube. Again, guys, thanks for watching and go make it a great day.